Hi guys, Chris here from USP Motorsports. Today we're gonna to be doing an install video on SKU 2792, which is your daytime running lights for the Mark VI Jetta 2011 to 2014. Now this install is, I'd say fairly simple, I'd say on a scale from two to five. Um, if you have small hands, you're actually in luck uh, because they're a little bit tight to get to these daytime running lights. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the passenger side with removing the factory daytime running light. So what you wanna do is the first thing uh, after you pop the hood is there's a cover in the back that you simply just do a quick little twist off counterclockwise. And if you could see here, you just remove this cover. So simply counterclockwise, that comes off. Now, if you can see here on the, the picture on this uh, video, you'll see that that red mark is actually pointing to where the factory daytime running light clip is. Now, what you wanna do is get your hand in there and you're gonna be turning that clip counterclockwise, I'd say about 15 degrees or so, 15, 20 degrees. And once you pull that out, it's a little, little tough to get to, but once you, once you get it out, it's gonna look like this. Okay, you get your factory. So you've now located where your factory bulb is. Uh, so to remove this bulb, all you wanna do is simply just push in and turn counterclockwise and it comes out. You're gonna take your RFB and you're gonna go ahead and install your LED daytime running lights. And then reverse procedure, push in, turn to the right, okay? So once that's locked in, all you have to do is the reverse procedure. Uh, go ahead and put it in. Now, it's you really kinda gotta do this blindly because you really can't see what you're doing in there. So you just kinda gotta, uh, you can look through, uh, through the front of the car to kinda aim your LED up if you can see in here. Kinda get it aimed up straight through this hole and at least you know you're in the correct hole there um, and then you're going to kind of line it up and play with it until you get it in the correct spot and give it a turn in the opposite direction where you pull it out to the clockwise and make sure it's locked in correctly okay so once we get it locked in there correctly, the first thing you wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and test these lights to make sure they work once they're installed. We still have the factory one on the other side and the RFB one on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the key on the ignition. Now, some cars have daytime running lights that the e-brake actually operates. So if they don't turn on, you could drop the e-brake and that'll normally uh, turn the running lights on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so once we go ahead and put the car on, we could see our factory light, what it looks like over here compared to our RFB LED installed. So after we know it, it works, go ahead and just take our cap, reverse the process, and just go ahead and put it back in there, turn clockwise, and make sure it locks in. And we're gonna go ahead and go on to the driver's side. All right, so now we're on the driver's side of the vehicle to do the daytime running light over here. So the only difference between the driver's side and the passenger side is you have this big fuse slash ECU box that is actually gets in the way of your hand. And if you have large hands, once again, it's very hard to get down in there uh, to release it. So on some vehicles, I've actually had to do a, a different option, which I'm gonna show you as well. So the same thing is where on the other side is you simply just take the light cover off by going counterclockwise. Uh, you're gonna reach your hand in there. And once again, you have to do this blind. Um, the best thing, it, it is a long, um, it is a long plug. If, if you grab the outside, uh, you're not gonna have the leverage because it's plastic, so it twists. So you wanna try to reach your hand in as far as you can and, and twist the actual base of it. Um, now, in some cars, I've had luck getting it this way. Uh, some cars, I have, I have not. Uh, this one, particularly, I got lucky and I'm able to get in there and pull it out. Let's see if I can get this one out right here. Uh, you will cut up your hands a good amount if, uh, if you're struggling with it. So. So this one, as you can see, I was able to get out. Now I am gonna go ahead and show you a different way. This is, the, this is a final resort. If you're down there for 15, 20 minutes messing, trying to get this thing out and you can't physically get it out, um, we're gonna go ahead and aim down here. I'm gonna show you a different way. Now I've already done the work. Um, I re removed the wheel and also removed the fender liner. Now the fender liner uh, goes completely up in here. It's held on by 16 T25 Torx. Uh, and it allows you, if you can go ahead and reach, look back in here, you can see where the headlight is. So it gives you a little better access to get in there. Not much, to be honest with you, uh, because it's so far deep in there. Uh, the, the, the best shot you can do is use your left hand and kind of give it a twist counterclockwise to get it out. 
Uh, once you do get it out, if it was very, very hard to get back in, uh, there's a little trick what you can do is, let's see if I can pull this off here. So if you can see where these three tabs are, that's where it locks in. Um, you could take a little bit of dielectric grease and just put it on each one of these flat spots. And that when you put it back in, it just has a little bit of a little bit of lube in there. So it ables to uh, able to turn easily and come out if you ever have to access it again. Uh, so once again, this is not 100% needed to, to do this. This is just if you're up there for 15, 20 minutes messing with the light, you can't get it out. It's nothing more than a five minutes to jack the car up, pull that wheel off, go ahead and pull those 16 T25 torques out and you're able to access the back of the headlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this one in and, and we can see a final product of what these look like installed. We'll go ahead and turn it on just to see what both of them look like once they come on. Make sure they are working. And voila, as you can see, the daytime running lights, this cleans up the car a lot, especially if you're doing HIDs as well, the RFB HIDs we sell for this. Um, it, it definitely gives a, a similar look to an HID, but as well as in the daytime. Um, so that pretty much completes this install. I would give this install, I'd say about a good 20, 30 minutes uh, from start to finish. Uh, it could be as easy as five minutes if you're able to just snake your hands in there. But if you have to take off the wheel and the fender, you can say you could add another 15 or 20 minutes to it. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down on the YouTube page and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun install videos just like this.